What's up, what's up, what's up YouTube? It's your boy here, Tim, from Credit Kingdom. And today, I'm gonna to be discussing um, how you should properly dispute inaccurate and complete erroneous information on your credit report. And I'm going to break that down into the four stages of credit repair. Before I get into it, I would like for you all to subscribe to the channel, like, and leave any comments. It would have really helped the channel grow. So, I would say everyone's credit profile is different. No one's credit profile is the same. So, what works for one person may not work for the next person. It always, it's always a trial and error. You gotta experiment with um, disputing um, information on your credit. So you can either send in mail, which is pretty much the, the best way to dispute, which is certified mail only. So that way you can you can tell when the credit bureaus received it, or you can either tell when the credit creditors received it, and you also can get a return receipt with that. So you can always track the letter. And so also they always have 30 days to respond to you. Even if on the 31st day they don't respond, it's they automatically have to remove it from your credit report. If you're challenging a late payment, inquiry, collection, anything of that nature, that's bringing your credit score down. So the first stage of credit repair is, also, is um, only having one of each, uh, one information of each category in your credit report, such as having one name, one address, one phone number, um, one job employment. So. It's a thing that's called personal update information form that I sell in the course that you all can get. And it, it works, it works, man, amazing. Cause I did it for my own credit report. So you want to send this to all three credit bureaus, TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax. So once you send that in, they also have to, um, they have to update your um, credit profile. So and that will lead to the second um, stage that you should do which is um, freezing the um, subprime bureau, which is the secondary bureau. It's really five of them. It's CoreLogic, ARS, SageScreen, LexisNexis, LexisNexis, and uh, what's the other one? I said CoreLogic, SageScreen, LexisNexis, ARS. Uh, damn, I always forget the other one. Listen, I'm, I'll leave it in the comment, the fifth one. And once you, you go into those websites, you can type them in on Google and find them. And type in security freeze and put whatever subprime bureau it is. So once you freeze your information, which is these are third party companies that sell your information to the bureau. So whenever you, they will actually send you a package in the mail, like a, a thick package with like five pages in there. A letters and um, telling you um, what they're about your, your pen will be in there and once you freeze all four or five of those and you go then to which is lead to the third step of credit repair which is actually disputing and attacking the credit bureaus with the negative information on your credit report so once those are frozen you want to dispute either by mail or online so once you choose to dispute you can either do it yourself or you can hire or pay someone to do it for you if you don't have the time to do it. So once those are, you pick what information you want to challenge, you want to send in the letter or do it online, which I sell also all the letters in my courses that you can find in a link in the description below on the website. And once you send in those letters to the um, credit bureaus, not all of the credit bureaus will have that account that you disprove. So what's on Equifax may not be reporting to TransUnion. So don't go over on TransUnion and try to um, dispute when it's not even reporting over there. Stick to um, what it's reporting to. So sending those letters to them, and once they, they will always send you, majority of the time, oh, it's verified. Even when you're, when you, even when you frozen the secondary bureau, they will send you something, oh, it's, the information is verified. And that's when you have to send in a second dispute letter saying, I want, I didn't ask for verification, I asked for validation, which they have to show you proof with your WEC signature, your John Hancock, of um, either the other account that you, you um, agreed to. So most likely they don't have that. So the third, once you send that out, they won't be able to respond 
to the um, a third one because they don't have it information. So the FCRA, um, it's a law actually stating that they can't can't report anything on your credit report that's not validated. So within 30 days, they automatically have to remove it from your credit report. And that leads to the the fourth stage of credit repair. And that's to actually go for funding, whatever you're trying to do, which is what I call adding positive on your account. So once all the negative items are removed, you want to start adding something positive, which is what we call authorized users, or even just getting um, credit cards in your own personal name that's not someone else's. So you can either start by doing pre-approvals, and that's most likely you say, oh, we'll pre-approve you for this, but it's not guaranteed. So even if you're not guaranteed and then they do a hard pull, you can get that inquiry removed also within the next 24 hours. <laughs> uh, and that's another thing I also teach in my courses as well, how to get inquiries removed within 24 hours. And also it's on my Facebook page. And you can click in the link in the description below to find that. So you can either go get funding by having liquid cash, go get a loan, getting credit cards, or get go getting go going to the dealership to get a get an auto loan. So and also I wanna discuss Yeah, you can also if you have any questions, again, uh leave it in the comments comments below. Contact me on Telegram, Sammy Sosa, or find me on Facebook, Credit Kingdom. And don't forget, um, I'm always available, so don't hesitate to contact me. Catch you all later, YouTube.